Moving or renovating is generally an exciting time for most, although it can be a little daunting and stressful. We sort of set ourselves up for a few delays, minor problems, or surprises, and just deal with them accordingly. The homeowners featured on our list today got a little more than they bargained for. Some amazing, and some truly horrifying, like our first entry. Crazy things found in people's homes. Number 20, time to move. William Wilson couldn't wait to move into his new home in Cape Coral, Florida. The house was auctioned off because the previous owner failed to pay her taxes. It's hard to believe that no one thought to maybe check the house to make sure there was no foul play, but they didn't. So when Wilson moved into his new home, he made the disturbing discovery of the previous owner's body inside. Number 19, Finders Keepers. This home used to be the property of the Visual School of Art located in Manhattan. The owners were really fortunate to find a mural inside the home, painted by Keith Haring in the 70s. He was an American artist who gained popularity during the 80s with his pop art and graffiti. You'll probably recognize some of his later work, which focused on political and societal themes. Number 18, a real drip. Colin Steer and his wife had a constant battle with a drip in their living room. They lived in Plymouth and Devon, and when Colin finally had enough of the drip, he decided to investigate. He never imagined his investigations would lead him to finding a medieval well dating back to the 16th century, right underneath his living room. He dug for three solid days, and although he didn't find any gold, he did find a sword from the same period, which now sits proudly in his living room. Number 17, read all about it. The chances of this happening again are very rare, and David Gonzalez is very aware of just how lucky he is. He bought a serious fixer-upper in Minnesota for $10,100 and began the grueling task of knocking down walls. It was inside one of the walls that he found the holy grail of comic books. It was Action Comics number one. This is where Superman made his first appearance and sold for a whopping $175,000. Want to know what's crazier? His aunt accidentally tore the back page and the comic lost $75,000 of its value. Here's a good example. Bearing in mind this particular one wasn't in mint condition, a copy in mint condition that used to belong to Nicolas Cage sold at auction for $2.16 million. Number 16, The Witching Hour. On a more bizarre note, a home in Greenwich was undergoing some home renovations when owners discovered witch bottles hidden in their walls. These bottles were from the 19th century and contained urine and fingernail clippings. They were thought to counteract a witch's curse. Along with the urine and fingernails, many of these bottles would hold a small piece of leather shaped like a heart, pierced with a brass nail. Number 15, that's the spirit. A construction worker was working on a house in an unnamed location when he found a 100-year-old Ouija board hidden in the walls of his home. How long it had been hidden in the wall is anyone's guess, but after it was posted on Reddit, people went crazy, telling the guy to leave the board alone, that he was opening himself up to the unknown, and that they really hoped he was okay. So, random Redditor, if you're watching, let us know if you are okay. Number 14, Snakes and Ladders. Ben and Amber Sessions were thrilled with their newly purchased home in the American countryside, which they believed they picked up for a bargain. For $180,000, they were the proud owners of a five-bedroom house sitting on a pastoral acreage in Idaho. Their dream home soon turned into a nightmare for the couple who discovered the house was infested with snakes. They initially found one in the yard and a couple in the house, but then they started hearing them in the walls, and when they tore down a panel in the wall, they were shocked to discover thousands. Their house was sitting on top of a snake den. They moved out after three months and sadly filed for bankruptcy after that. Number 13, Mum's the Word. It was in an LA apartment building's basement that a woman made the most horrifying discovery. A trunk that contained newspapers from the 1930s and wrapped inside them were mummified remains. Along with the remains was a copy of the book Peter Pan, written by J. M. Barry, as well as other paraphernalia related to the book. Strangely, the trunk used to be owned by Janet M. Barry. She shared the same name as the famous author. Many believed there to be a family connection between the two, but it was proven there wasn't. DNA proved that the children found were Janet's, but the circumstances surrounding them landing up there are unknown. Number 12, if the jewelry fits. At a home in Bel Air, California, a couple found quite a number of unusual items during construction. While the wife was lying on the floor playing with her dogs, she noticed something odd sticking out of the bottom of a vanity. When she dug around there, she found beautiful vintage jewelry from Mexico. They also found a brown derby matchbook, an invite to a party hosted by Roy Rogers, and a ring box containing three small rubies. 
Number 11. Hush, Little Baby In 2007, contractor Bob Klinghorn was renovating a home in Toronto when he too found the remains of a child wrapped in newspaper dating back to 1925. Number 10. A Real Blast A discovery in a Milwaukee attic must have blown the owner away because it was there that he found four live hand grenades. They were retrieved by the Milwaukee Sheriff's Office bomb squad and detonated in an open, safe area. Number 9. Share and Share Alike Quite an interesting situation unfolded when a contractor, Bob Kitts, discovered $182,000 hidden inside the walls of a bathroom he was renovating. It was hidden during the Depression. The owner of the house, Amanda Reese, offered to give him 10%. However, that wasn't good enough, and he demanded 40%. The case made its way to the Cleveland Plain Dealer, who traced the original owner, Patrick Dunn. So, with three people fighting over the money, the court proceedings ensued, which were costly, and each person only ended up with a fraction of it. Number 8. If the Walls Could Speak A young couple were excited to move into their New York apartment, but the excitement faded pretty quickly when they made a horrific discovery inside. They had noticed an awful smell coming from a cupboard, and when they opened it, they found someone wrapped in a shower curtain. It was the body of Sidney Harris, a 64-year-old ex-con who had previously tenanted the house. Number 7. Big Brother Is Watching You Renting a house is all very well, but it can be quite disturbing to learn that you've been the source of entertainment for the leaser. That happened to a couple in Sydney who were reading about their landlord on a rental forum site when they learned that he had a habit of hiding cameras on the property. The couple began searching and to their dismay found several hidden cameras all linked up to a shed that only the owner had access to. Inside the shed was a leather recliner, a TV, and a footrest where the owner would watch the couple going about their daily business. Thankfully, the guy was arrested and sentenced to 17 months in prison. Number 6 get your game face on. In this home, more than 4,000 game pieces were discovered underneath the floorboards. The family must have been very keen on their board games. Number five, if the shoe fits. In North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany, restorations were underway at the Liedberg Palace when 300-year-old shoes were discovered in the walls of the palace. There were eight pairs of women's, men's, and children's shoes found dating back to around 1708. Most of the shoes had been heavily worn in, but there were some higher value Baroque models as well. There were also two other pairs from the 19th century discovered in the walls. Why the shoes were there is a little unclear, but some scholars believe they were put there for superstitious reasons. Number four, land of milk and honey. Over in Colorado, Debbie Hill had just moved into her new home. Once she had unpacked and was busy settling into her new home, she noticed that brown goo was dripping down her walls. It was brown, sticky, and looked an awful lot like blood. Most peculiarly, the walls were oozing the most delicious honey that Debbie had ever tasted. Seems Debbie had moved into the bee's house because inside her walls were between 50 and 60,000 bees. The honey they made would melt in the summer heat and start dripping through her walls. We're not sure if she managed to get rid of all the bees, but at this stage, we're pretty sure she's bee-free. Number three, cats in the cradle. As if witch bottles and baby bones weren't enough, back in medieval times, many people would seal a live cat in the walls of their home due to its association with witches. We can't even imagine how traumatic that would have been. A cat skeleton was discovered in 2011 in the walls of a home in Pendle Hill, Lancashire, an area notorious for its witchcraft-related activities. Number two, poison. And we're not talking about the Alice Cooper song, but rather 400 barrels of toxic waste that were found hidden behind the walls of a property owned by an Ontario man in 2017. The man had already found 400 barrels of waste and after knocking down a wall, discovered a further 400. The contents were dangerous, cancer-causing materials and were left behind by John Curie, the previous owner. He was known for disposing of waste improperly and hopefully slapped with a heavy fine after he was caught doing this. Number one, time traveler. In Lansdowne in Pennsylvania, a colonial-style home held a well-hidden secret. Tenant Jerry Sanders noticed a crack in the wall in the basement. The crack started getting worse over time, so the Baldwin masonry was called in to repair the problem. As they were putting up columns to support the ceiling, they tore a hole in the basement floor, and that's when history revealed itself. It opened up to an underground railroad, which led to various hidden rooms believed to be places where runaway slaves would hide in their quest for freedom. 
It's believed there are many hidden rooms underneath homes in the area, all linking to the Underground Railroad.